Time for a Man in Great book review. Today's book is Blackface by Ayanna Thompson, published in 2021 by Bloomsbury. It's 144 pages. In October of 2018, Megyn Kelly on her TV show, Megyn Kelly Today, held a roundtable discussion about Halloween. And during that discussion, Kelly opinion uh, offered her opinion that she didn't understand why people got upset when white people put on blackface as part of a Halloween costume. She didn't see anything wrong with it and said that it was commonplace to, uh, to wear blackface uh, when she was a kid for Halloween. Well, the pushback was almost immediate. There was a lot of uh, protests and complaints about her insensitivity. And while she did apologize, three days later, Megan Kelly Today was canceled. And a few months later, Kelly... Uh, the network bought out Kelly's contract and uh, severed ties with her. So Megan Kelly could have benefited from this book. Unfortunately, it hadn't been published yet. But had she read it, maybe she would have been a little bit more sensitive to, uh, and refrained from making such comments. The genesis of blackface was an event that occurred when the author attended an event at her child's Tony Private Elementary School. Assigned oral presentations on famous Americans, a white boy wore blackface to portray Dr. Martin Luther King. Neither the child, his parents, nor the school officials saw anything offensive in the wearing of blackface in that context. This led Ayanna Thompson to explore the history of white depictions of African Americans from the 19th century minstrel shows to 30 Rock and Saturday Night Live. Usually, these portrayals were done for comic effect and almost always invoked negative racial stereotypes. When criticized for donning blackface, today's perpetua uh, perpetuators universally proclaimed their innocence. They deny that their intentions were to offend, despite the long racist history of white entertainers who wore burnt cork to mock African Americans. Thompson concludes this brief book with a note of hope due to the widespread protests that broke out following the murder of George Floyd in 2010. Perhaps the brutal death of Floyd will cause whites to think twice before assuming that their privilege extends to darkening their skins to caricature those of another race. Blackface is a brief but powerful read and one of the better entries in the Bloomsbury Object Lesson series. The book is Blackface. The author is Ayanna Thompson. This has been another Man in Great book review. Thanks for watching.